Now, as we look to measure risk, um, this is how we're going to measure standard deviation. Look at a couple examples. So we have variance is the average value of squared deviations from the mean. From the mean. It's, a measure, it's a measure of volatility. So basically, um, essentially how much we vary from the mean. And the standard deviation is average value of squared deviations from mean. So basically, all we're talking about is really the average value of standard deviations of, st of deviations from the mean. So for example, with this game, if the return in one case is plus 40, another case is plus 10, another case is minus 20, is a percent, basically. Then the deviation from expected return, basically you could see that the expected return on average would be um, it would be 10, basically, because that's like, you know, these all congregate, this is plus, plus 30 from 10, and this is minus 30 from 10. So that's the expected return ultimately, right? So th how much is this varying from the expected return? Zero, because expected return is 10. So 10 minus 10 is zero. So what about 40 minus 10? That means plus 30, you're 30 above the expected return. What about 20, negative 20? Um, you're 30 below the 10 that's expected, right? So this is the expected return. Now if you square it, we square because we want uh, negatives and positives to all be positive, basically. So we have 900, and then this is 0 and then 900. The probability of each outcome, now basically talking about a game, like say you're flipping a coin or something in this situation or you're drawing cards, there's, this, there's a definite sort of probability of outcomes. And then we multiply by that probability to see what happens. And in this situation, what we get is basically we sum all the probabilities together and we get 450. Now, that is basically the variance uh, is expected value of these guys squared. So we have 450. And standard deviation is the square root of that, which we get 21. So basically, with the probabilities included, and the average deviations included, um, we're looking at basically, you could, Im you could imagine that in this situation, it, it will vary by 21 from, in a way, the expected value on average. So this is basically equity market risk by country. So risk being standard deviation, you see US, zoom in a little bit, the US is basically going to be, um, one second here, so the US is basically right here, right around 20. So that means that's by, the same thing we just talked about, it's basically imagine the same thing, it varies by around 20 points from the expected value, which is like your risk of items that would come up um, and this is varies as you see other markets could be quite riskier as you see Germany with the volatility um, and this is what would happen in terms of if you had more volatility more risk more variation from the mean and that's basically what we're talking about and, and we can measure that and you can see over time which markets are which markets are safer, which markets are riskier, just by the volatility. And once we're through that, we can feel and see, you know, how do you diversify risk? What's market risk? What's unique risk? What is diversification? And basically, when we look now on being aware of this risk, that you know, you diversify is a way of reducing risk by spreading the portfolio across many investments. So as you understand, of course, if you are exposed to these standard deviations in different market, if you invest in different markets, you can slow down the overall risk. You know, and the unique risk is also um, what's affecting only the company. Of course, every company is subject to its own risk and its own standard deviation. Um, but when you put in a portfolio, um, you could diversify some of that away, right? 
And market risk is economy-wide risk or systemic risk. This is involved with macroeconomics, and essentially everybody is exposed to the recession or, you know, or different economic, we're now global issues that come up that slow down growth.